I am a disabled United States Marine Corps veteran. I can take a punch or two, but the way the airline treated me is simply unacceptable. I recently traveled for business. When I landed, the airline contractors deplaned me onto an aisle chair. I waited for five minutes on the jetway and was eventually pushed to another gate before I was finally reunited with my power wheelchair. Then I attempted to start it. Brake error. I tried resetting the brakes, still no good. It had been working just fine before the flight, and I was told to go to baggage claim to report the problem. The baggage claim staff couldn't help me get a wheelchair repair person. Someone will call you within seven days, they said. No, I'm here on business and I need my chair to get to my meetings tomorrow, I explained. They agreed to have someone look at my chair that night. There were no manual wheelchairs available to get me to the hotel, so they put me back into my broken power chair and pushed me into a taxi van. A few hours passed and no repairman showed up. I contacted their repair company and was told someone would be here within a week. A week? I wasn't going to sit here and wait for a week. Frustrated with their repair company, I called my chair's manufacturer directly. The next morning, the manufacturer's repairman arrived and discovered that the frame of the chair was bent and a wire was cut, shorting the electrical components of the chair. Most likely, the new chair had been dropped by the baggage handlers. Fortunately, the repairman had the parts to fix my wheelchair that day, and I had to pay him directly, even though the damage was not my fault. By the time my chair was fixed at 6.30 p.m. that evening, I had missed all of the meetings for my business trip.